housing green country. Amazing program. Yeah, absolutely. And it yes. sounds like we've got some amazing weather coming too this weekend. We do, but don't let your guard down yet. We're still going to feel a little bit warm this afternoon. Okay. It's not until tonight, Matt, even after Friday Night Football, that you're going to start to notice, hey, I might need to go back in and get that jacket. Oh, my goodness. No, I know. Go find it. You'll need it this weekend. We are tracking temperatures well below average. It's all because this cold front that will be sliding through. Now, the cooler air behind it is really lagging, and I want to show you this. We're going to pulse warmer this afternoon, about average, so those upper 80s. But watch what happens late tonight into tomorrow. That Canadian air mass just spills into northeast Oklahoma and then across the state. So this is time stamped at 556 tomorrow morning. So that's when we're really going to notice these temperatures. I know a lot of you for your Saturday, you're like, I'm not going to get outside that early in the par tomorrow morning. You know what? You're still going to feel that cooler air no matter what throughout the day tomorrow. So maybe grab a light jacket or go find it today. Maybe go purchase one because you'll need it as we head into the weekend. Let's talk about the temperatures right now. Believe it or not, we are trending warmer. So again, all this hype on this cold front sliding through this morning afternoon. Not going to drop those temperatures until tomorrow. That's what you need to prepare for. North winds about 8 miles per hour, dew point around 66. So it's warm and it's humid. 72 over towards Muskogee. Look at 66 to Grove, much warmer over towards Bartlesville, 74. Coffeeville, 74. 69 down towards McAllister. For today, we will stay near average with breezy north winds. They will be out of the north northeast. Going to keep those about 5 to even 15 miles per hour, so the breezier conditions will be more so for the afternoon into the evening. We'll keep a sun cloud mix around with more sun anticipated for the second half of the day as we are seeing those temperatures warming into those mid to upper 80s, more upper 80s across the area. Average is 88 now for this time of the year. We're looking at 87 here for Tulsa, 88 to Stillwater, 87 down towards Bristow as well as McAllister, 86 to Coffeyville. Now, as this front does approach, we have a very slim chance for some isolated showers to develop. They are likely be more to the north of I-44 this morning. Again, the model runs really have a hard time picking up on it, but they will stay north. We'll see that break in any precipitation. With another 10%, I'm going to stand over here as we head into afternoon and early evening. I'm not seeing this impacting any Friday night football, but one of those showers could develop in your location as we head into the evening. So this morning, if you're north of I-44, keep an eye to the sky. If you're south of I-44 this afternoon and early evening, that's where we're seeing an isolated development. Again, worth mentioning, but few and far between. Here for Tulsa for Friday Night Live, we're looking great. 80s and then 70s. Again, not noticing that drop in those temperatures until tonight. Check this out. 58, our average, is those upper 60s for this time of the year. So a noticeable drop in those temperatures. We're going to continue with this cooler air as we head into the weekend. 80 and then 83. How about an overnight low Saturday into Sunday, early Sunday morning, waking up at around 54 degrees in the area. We haven't talked about 54 since May 15th, so we are feeling uh, all the way back to more spring-like temperatures. It's been a while since we've dropped this low uh, here across the area. So June 10th was the last time we hit 58th. So cooler temperatures headed to the forecast. Enjoy it while we have it. It's still late summer. We will be warm.